Glad you found me. And these workers fine? Yeah. Did I get scammed? Please give me the bio screen. I'm stuck on VGA. You gotta be fing kidding me. So I've been building new PCs for 11 years now, and not once have I thought about the used market. So I challenged myself to build a budget gaming PC using only parts I buy from the used market. How hard can it be? The only thing we can't buy used is the operating system, as this will have to be purchased new. Luckily, we can just grab a cheap Windows 10 key from eurocdkey.com for just $15 by using the code TS20. They always send the key over within a few minutes, and then it's just a matter of going into the activation settings to put it in. So then it was time to shop for the parts. I wanted to start with the CPU since there were a lot of options out there, but I knew I didn't want to spend over $100. So that helped me narrow down my search to a few options. After a few hours of watching benchmarks, I found that the Ryzen 5 3600 still offers the most bang for the buck even after four years. And I bet I can find a pretty good deal on a used one. So yeah, just as expected, people are selling the CPU around $80, $70, $80. So $70 for just the CPU. This one doesn't come with the cooler. It's a bit far away. Let's go $100, why not? Okay, this guy's selling it for $100. Um, why? This has been listed 22 weeks ago, but he's close by, he's in Northridge. So let's message this guy and see if he's willing to knock the price down. Lived under a 360 millimeter AI, your water cooling, useful workstation, not gaming. I don't know if that makes a difference. I think it's actually more taxing on the CPU if you use it as a workstation compared to gaming, because when you're gaming, you're not really utilizing all its, um, all its cores. Not compared to like editing a video, for example. So I don't know if you should have <laughs> posted that on there. Regardless, it's been on there for 22 weeks. So I'm hoping that he probably just wants to get rid of it at this point free up space so let's go and message him hey would you take seventy dollars i can stop by and pick it up today i'm in Porto ranch let me know i got a response already that was quick oh no way he recognizes me god damn it seven dollars cash and it's yours all right looks like we got our cpu so if you were to buy a brand new ryzen 5 3600 you'd be paying 93 dollars so we're getting it for $70 used. We're saving 23 bucks, so not the best deal in the entire world, but you know what, a deal is a deal, we'll take it. Another good option is the Intel i5-10400, which is direct competitor to the 3600. This one's actually $40 more, it looks like. If we get the F variant, it's 115 bucks. How much is the used market? Yeah, no, you're gonna be spending at least $100 without the cooler, so. The Ryzen 5 3600 is definitely the best option to take if we want to save a lot of money. All right, I am on my way to pick up the Ryzen 5 3600 from this guy. Um, luckily, he lives really close by. He's like a 10 minute drive from me, so I got very lucky with this first purchase. This is literally the first part I am buying for our CPU. I think once I knock out the CPU and the graphics card, the rest of the components should be easy to find. But finding deals on these, on the processor and the GPU is probably gonna be the hardest. And I think I got very lucky with this one. $70 for a Ryzen 5 3600. It's still a good CPU. You still got six cores, 12 threads. It performs really good in gaming. Um, I just hope it works. That's always gonna be the risk when you're buying used parts is, you know, how long has it been used? How much has it been stressed? And are any of the pins broken? Well, I guess I can technically inspect the pins before I buy it, but you never really know once you bring it in. He said this meet up at the 7-Eleven in the corner of CSUN, so this should be the 7-Eleven he's talking about. Right on time, 1 p.m. on the dot. It always feels like I'm doing something illegal when I'm buying used stuff. There it is. What's going on? Good. What are the chances? The first part I'm buying and already someone recognized me from the channel. No, I, I opened up the, the Facebook Marketplace message. What's going on? Edgar, Edgar yes. Click on the Who's on the Samuel? Market. Which one's selling? Oh, you are, okay. And you're his friend? Yeah, I'm, I'm brother. Oh, brother. brother. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So that's it right there? Yep. Let's take a look at it. All the pins are good. How long have you been using it for? A couple of years. Oh, just a couple of years? Yeah. Okay. And you upgraded to a Ryzen 9, you said? Yeah, I got a, actually my whole build is a Facebook Marketplace build. No way, it's oh like wow. I got the, the CPU, it's a 5900X. Okay. I got it for like 200 bucks. Oh, Facebook nice. Looks good, yeah. And you didn't overclock or do anything? No, just... it, it lived under a 360 mil. Okay. 
Very nice. How long have you been uh, watching the channel for? Years, years, man. Years. You would watch like uh, set up wars religiously. Oh really? Yeah, I'm in the Discord and everything. Oh, are you? No way. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cooler looks good. Cool. No issues with the cooler too, right? No. It's cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I well, appreciate the awesome deal. We, uh, you said seventy dollars, right? Yeah. How long have you had it for listing? Uh. Was it there for a while? Months. Yeah. And nobody bought it? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Lucky me, huh? Appreciate the deal on the CP, yeah, man. Great yeah, likewise, man. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Awesome, man. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Okay. Absolutely, man. Thank you, guys. I'll be on the lookout for that video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Alright guys, I just found a really good deal on a graphics card. Uh, someone on OfferUp is selling an RX 5700 for $120 and I was able to knock the price down to 100 bucks, which is really good. I compare the prices on eBay, which is where I like to compare used GPU prices and they're selling it for $130 minimum and the price goes up depending on what model card you're picking up. So 100 bucks for a pretty decent 1080p card is actually a really good deal. What's interesting is that when you compare the performance of the RX 5700 against the RTX 2060, the 5700 does noticeably better in 1080p. But for some reason, people are selling the 2060 for a lot more. Yeah, I know. More than double the price, which is crazy to me. All because it has a shiny, nvidia geforce logo attached to it it makes no sense why people would buy the rtx 2060 when they can get better performance for more than half the cost of the 2060 used all right made it to the home depot it's actually a bit further than i thought it was a 20 minute drive with traffic but still relatively close i just have to find a place to park under the shade because it's so freaking hot today it's hotter than yesterday once again i am on time and they aren't did he flake on me because I lowballed them. I actually didn't lowball them. Twenty dollars is a fair ask, right? He's even seen the message. He's seen the message and he's not responding. Oh man, this it would suck. I do have twenty minutes to get here. Come on, man. Come on, Robert. All the Roberts I know are good people. Don't be the one to break the streak. Oh, he's here. Robert, right? How's it going? Nice to meet you. That's the card? Yeah, card Alright, cool. Is there anything wrong with the card? Uh, no, no. How long have you been using it for? So I bought it on launch, but um, honestly, maybe like a year total use. Okay. So, yeah. For gaming only or? Yeah. For, okay. Like, CSGO stuff like oh, that. Oh, CSGO yeah. stuff? Cool. And why are you selling it? Uh, just because I haven't been using it. Yeah, okay. I'm not really gaming right now. Uh, do you take Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle? Cash. Cash? Yeah. Cash App? No, Cash. Oh, I don't have Cash on me. Yeah. Do you have you Cash App or Venmo? No. Oh, you don't have any of those? No. Um, damn it, I don't know why I thought you would take um, Venmo or Cash App. I'll have to go to the bank then, pick up some cash real quick. God damn it, I don't know why I assumed he had Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle. I think I mixed them up with someone else I was talking to. I'm talking to like multiple different people at the same time, so it's easy to get confused. It's all good. Most probably was only five minutes away from here, so let's stop by, grab the cash, and then make the deal. Oh, we just got another deal from OfferUp. $40 for a 16 gigabyte kit running at 3200 megahertz, the Corsair Vengeance. Oh, and he's literally 10 minutes north, which is the route we have to take to go back home anyways. This couldn't have came in a more perfect time. Can you meet in 10 minutes? This is perfect. Wow. He was selling the sticks for 50. I got it down to 40, so not bad for a pair of vengeance lpx's how is robert not here like we we left at the same time and then later at 11 o'clock today i have to pick up a motherboard check this out guys i was able to find an msi mpg x 570 gaming edge board for 130 dollars and i talked them down to 80 bucks on the x570 i can use the ryzen 5 3600 and if I want to upgrade later down the line, I can upgrade to the Ryzen 5 5600. So this does support the Ryzen 5th gen processors as well. There you are. I thought you left me, man. All right. There's your 100. Thank you very much, sir, for the awesome deal. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Take care. Oh. 
Oh yes, he messaged me. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go, let's go grab the sticks. Oh, this is so perfect. This is like all seven of the planets aligning with a full moon and a shooting star going across the sky. Like this is, this is perfect. Do you take Venmo, Cash App or Zelle? I just left Wells Fargo. I didn't pull any extra cash. Come on, please say yes. I don't wanna have to go back. Okay, let's go. I know, I was, I was just gonna text you too. Um, glad you found me. Thank you. What's your cash app? Yeah. And these work just fine? Yeah. No issues. Can I ask why you're selling them? Um, I have a computer business, so I tend to get parts all the time. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let me scan it real quick. There you go. So do you happen to have a power supply you're trying to sell too? Um, I should get some more parts still coming in because I do have a shipment coming in, I think, end of the month. So another two days. Two more days? Yeah, so okay. for a case and all that stuff, but I'll, I should have a case and parts for Awesome. Day. I'm local too, I'm like 10 minutes away, so awesome. I'll stop by. Appreciate it, thank you, man. Oh, no freaking way, dude. The motherboard guy wants to meet earlier today. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Everything is just working out. Yes, we can meet him in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna head on over right now and grab the motherboard. Let's do this. My brother knows you from YouTube. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's like, um, he makes like setups. Yeah, set up PC like, content. Showing me, yeah, you were like, you like computer stuff. Awesome. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with it? No, it's perfect. It's my brother, he just put it in his setup one time and just took it out. Why is he selling it? He just said he has a new PC. You guys don't have the, the AM4 bracket? AM4 bracket. There's like a bracket in the back here. If not, it's not a big deal. I, I think I have one. Let me go check inside. Sure, sure, sure. No worries. So the board is in pretty good condition, but um, it's missing the AM4 bracket on here. So there's no way for me to install the stock Ryzen cooler, but I might have an extra one back at the studio. I'll have to double check. Regardless, I mean, still a pretty good deal. Oh no, the antenna is missing. No wonder he's selling it for $80. You know, I might have an extra antenna as well. Socket looks like it's good. And he wouldn't lie to me, would he? I know where he lives. Let's see if I can talk him down another $10 because I mean, technically, if it was somebody else trying to buy this board, they won't be able to use it without the bracket and without the antenna extender. Not to mention, the box is not even here. We don't have SATA cables, so it's missing a lot of things. I mean, at least give me the antenna. Really? Um, I also noticed that it's missing the antennas. You guys don't have that too? To connect to the Wi-Fi. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'll buy them, but um, I, I just, I assume that it would come with these things. Is it possible to do a little bit lower on the price? Like 60 bucks? Because I have to buy the 60. bracket. Yeah. yeah. And I have to buy the antenna. 60. It's also missing the SATA cables, but I have some at home. That's not a big but deal. But it works, right? And there's nothing yeah, wrong with it. Perfect. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. My brother just put it in his setup and took it out. Okay, cool. Yeah, literally. It's just dusty from like sitting in the stuff. No worries, man. Let me know what your, um, you said Cash App, right? Yeah. Cool. Awesome, you have my number. Um, yeah, I actually live in Porter Ranch. I'll tell your brother uh, I said what's up. <laughs> Sounds good, I will. Yeah, Appreciate it, man. Armand. He's Armand? Like, I watch, yeah, he's like, I watch. Like, awesome, dude. Awesome. Uh, well, yeah, uh, have him or you can message me yeah, whenever yeah. he gets back. You saved another 20 bucks, baby. Let's go. All right guys, we're back here at the studio. These are all the parts we have so far. We got the CPU, motherboard, the memory, and the graphics card, which I think are like the main components. And so far, we've only spent $270, which is actually nuts. The only thing we're missing is the case, storage, and a power supply. I think we can get this entire build done under $600. I build new PCs for such a long time that I've completely forgotten about the entire other side of PC building the used market. So I'm actually having a lot more fun than I anticipated. And I might even make this into a series, but that's up to you guys. So if you wanna see something like this, 
maybe once a month or something. Let me know in the comment section or by dropping a like. So I was fortunate enough to find an old AM4 bracket in the storage from a previous AMD build that I've done, I think last year. So we're gonna be hooking this up on the motherboard so we can install the CPU. And I was fortunate enough to find an antenna. Granted, this one is from ASUS, so I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna be compatible with the MSI board, but I feel like they're all the same. So we'll give this a test as well um, once we hook everything up. Also, since we have majority of the components here for a fully functioning system, minus the power supply, of course, um, I thought we could test the components individually and make sure that they are not defective. So that way when we do complete the PC, we're gonna get a post. So I am gonna be using one of my power supplies that I had laying around to conduct this test. And we're gonna put this together real quick and see if it boots. While buying used parts certainly has its pros, like obviously getting a much better price, there are definitely cons that come with it as well. And number one being, you have no idea what you're buying. You may very well be buying something that's defective. And the worst part is, you'll have no idea until you actually go back home and test the components yourself. There's no way to actually check while you're there. We don't really need, actually, we don't, we don't need the cooler. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing a quick test anyways. My heart's racing a little bit. Here we go. Did I get scammed or did I get lucky? Come on, please. Please give me the bio screen. Come on, baby. Lights on the motherboard are on. GPU spinning. God, this is so nerve wracking. We had two LEDs on the board. What does that say? Boot VGA. DRAM is not lighting up. We're stuck on VGA. You gotta be kidding me. It lights up, it goes boot and VGA light up red, but there's nothing on DRAM and CPU. God damn it, dude, I got too excited. Now what do I do? I guess I have to troubleshoot, right? Figure out what the issue is. I don't wanna believe it, you guys. Let me try it with the cooler. This can't be happening right now. I don't want to jump to conclusions. Everybody seemed nice. I don't think anyone is actually scamming me, but I highly doubt it. Let's check it out. Oh no, okay, it's starting with the CPU. And it just straight, it just jumps straight to boot and VGA. I've never seen that before, it usually goes in order. It goes CPU, DRAM, then VGA, then boot. But this one just jumps straight over to boot and VGA. Did I buy a dead graphics card? All right, let's do process of elimination and figure out who exactly screwed me on which component. The easiest thing to test right now is the RAM and the graphics card, so let's check those out first. Man, I was actually getting excited. But then running into this, I don't know if I'm gonna be motivated to continue making these videos, to be honest. There's also a good chance that it might be a user error. So maybe I'm doing something wrong that I'm not exactly realizing. I don't know why, but I have a gut feeling that it might be the motherboard. I don't know why. All right, new RAMs inside. CPU, straight to boot and VGA, but now the lights are off. Oh, we're back to CPU. That's a first. It's just, it's going back back and forth between CPU and VGA. It's like a ping pong match right now. We're on boot, where's the bio screen? It, it was the RAM? Why would he screw me over on $40 worth of RAM? Oh my God. You know what, I'm thankful it's not the graphics card or the CPU or the motherboard. Um, it was the cheapest component that I bought, which is the RAM, $40. Okay, let's turn this off for now. Let me retest the RAM. I got a feeling maybe I just didn't seat them properly, but I did, I, I, all the tabs were locked. I'm gonna give the guy benefit of the doubt. Sometimes reseating the RAM fixes problems, believe it or not. I did have that happen before in the past. So that's why I'm a little hopeful. Let's try this again. CPU, VGA and boot. God damn it, it was the RAM. Oh my God. I'm giving you a one-star review, my guy. You scammed me. 
I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I've never been scammed. Oh, what do I do? What do people do in this situation? Do I report them on offer up? The RAM isn't working. I get no post with them installed. I tested the system with my other DDR4 kit and it posted. Let's see what Joshua says because this isn't cool, man. Here I thought I got a pretty damn good deal on a pair of 16 gigabyte kit. Maybe this guy doesn't even know because if you're obviously scamming someone, you would end up blocking them immediately, right? My texts are still going through and he's got five stars on OfferUp. So I don't think this guy even knew that he had a pair of dead sticks. This is why you test your components before you sell them, boys and girls. Okay, because you have no idea if you're selling a defective unit. I'm just thankful it wasn't the GPU because I don't think I'll ever find another deal like this, to be honest. And then wait for a response and see what he says. All right, I just messaged Joshua uh, to see if he's still down to, oh, he just messaged. Yes, can we make it an hour later? Did you want to do at 11 or 11.30? This entire project has been an interesting experience to say the least, you guys. I think we're on the fifth or sixth day of just trying to find parts to build a PC. It is a lot, a lot of work goes into this. And there are people out there who do this for a living. People buy used parts daily and they flip PCs as a living. And for you guys watching, you have my utmost respect, okay? That takes a lot of time and dedication to be committed to this field. Okay, he wants to meet at 11.30. That's, that's basically in an hour, so... <sighs> we gotta kill some time. Look, I'm not calling a guy a liar, okay? But I do still find it a bit sus that I tested his sticks twice with no post, and then as soon as I swapped to my LPX sticks, the system did post. So that's just very strange, but it is what it is. He's nice enough to exchange the memory sticks. So I'm gonna go later tonight, swap those out. But in the meantime, I did find two other components for the build, you guys, the storage and the case. So we're gonna pick those up after we do some errands around here. I guess that's the beauty of um, buying used parts. You can meet just about anywhere, <laughs> even at Costco while shopping. All right, he's parking. Should be here any minute now. Hello, how are you? How are you? All right. Check. You said 30, right? Yes. Something. Awesome. Everything works. Everything no works? Problem. Yes. Is it, um, is it formatted? There's yes. nothing? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I removed from uh, for a laptop. Okay. Working. Perfect. Thank no you so much. Problem. You have problem? Let me know. Thank you so much. You Appreciate it. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. You, you too. Hi Sheila, your daddy, your daddy bought a, your daddy bought an SSD. Hi Ollie. Look, I got a really nice deal, thirty dollars for an M.2 SSD. One terabytes. One terabyte. Got a, your dad got a really good deal. You gotta kiss daddy and say thank you. Kiss daddy. Thank you. You know, we um, saved $5 from the SSD. Might as well give it to someone else who deserves it more. How are you, sir? Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. I do have a few other parts to pick up. One is a power supply and the other one is a case. The case is close by. It's in Woodland Hills. That's about 10 minutes away. So let me go grab that. Ideally, I would never go and buy stuff this late at night, but I'm determined to get all the parts done so I can work on the PC tomorrow, you guys. If I get mugged doing this, so be it. All in the name of the PC Master Race. Good, how are you? Appreciate you meeting up this late. Hey, no worries, brother. There you go, bro. Can I just pop it open yes. real quick? Yes, it's done open. Too. Awesome, awesome. So be quiet, send this to you? Yeah, be quiet, send me three to do a build in. And then, oh, nice. Yeah, so I did two as a giveaway. And then the third one, I was like, you know what, I'll just sell it because I don't want to do another giveaway on my channel for it. Okay. Oh, you make, uh, you make YouTube videos? Yeah, YouTube, TikTok. What's your channel name? 
Wired Hardware. Wired Hardware? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Respect the grind. I'll give you a follow today. Oh, I appreciate it, brother. Awesome. If you get any more cases, actually, I'm going to save your number and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shoot you a message, man. Appreciate cool. it. What's Aryan. your name? Aryan. 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 Yeah. Edgar. Persian name. Persian name. Nice. <laughs> awesome, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No worries, brother. Have a good Enjoy night. Enjoy okay? Will do, man. Take right, care. Later, bro. Bye bye. I still can't believe I snagged that case for only $40, you guys. Brand new, sealed. It retails for 150 bucks on Amazon and it comes with 420 millimeter RGB fans. I got really lucky with this one. And as I'm driving to pick up the power supply, I get a message from Joshua. He's back home. So not only am I gonna go over there right now and pick up the new pair of sticks, but he's also selling the same power supply that I was gonna buy from the other person for $70. He's selling it for 40, so I'm getting it for $30 cheaper. And I get to swap the RAM stick. So what a turn of events, you guys. Honestly, this is, this is insane. I, I just hope the power supply works um, and the new pair of sticks also work. So only one way to find out, I guess. This is it, man. The final two pieces. We're almost at the finish line, you guys. I just hope Joshua doesn't flake on us last minute. I'm on time again. What is up, my friends? How are you? All right, let's see if these work. Search monitors, CL-16. The same ones, right? Well, these are CL-15s. 3,000, looks like 3,200. Oh, okay. And then... And these ones for sure work? Yeah, I just put it on my system. Okay, cool. Let me put this over here. You don't have the cable? Uh, do, you need, do you need a cable? Um, preferably. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. All right, let's pay this guy. $40. Looks like it's in good condition, yep. It's just missing the cable, but he went to grab it real quick. The connections look good. Yeah, all right. This is our final piece. Okay, awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I send you the money on cash. Yeah, you did? Yeah, yeah. Before I check. Okay, love, bye. Awesome, awesome, man, appreciate it. Take care. So we got all our parts for the PC build, and I think that's a little deserving of a celebration. Let's go grab some iced coffee. Can I get a cup holder, please? You know, nothing in this world gives you a sense of accomplishment than overpaying for overhyped coffee from Starbucks. But you know what? It's my wife's favorite coffee, therefore it is now my favorite coffee. We finally got all the components here for the build, but before we put it inside the case, I say we test each component out and make sure they're working properly before we start the build. So I got a question for you guys watching. The small chance that this becomes a series on the channel, I'm gonna need a name for it, right? Cause all the series in the channel has names. Setup Wars, Setup Makeover, Cool Tech. Um, so let me know what kind of name I should call the series. I was thinking about used and abused, but the more I think about it, the more it doesn't make sense. And I'm pretty sure YouTube might have something to say about that. It's gotta be unique, it's gotta be catchy, but above all, it's gotta make sense and it has to relate to the content I'm posting. That's how confident I am that the memory sticks are gonna work, that I actually installed the CPU cooler with the bracket, you guys. Here goes nothing. You know what? One bite of my muffin for luck. All right. Power supplies off. Please, 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 please. All right, we're on the CPU. This is good. It's not skipping straight to VGA and boot, so it's doing the same thing like last time when I put in my own RAM sticks. So um, we'll just give it some time. God bless your soul, Joshua. Thank you for being the good guy and swapping him. Wow, okay, let's put this build together. Take it for a test drive. 
All right, guys, PC is officially done. Total price I paid $380. This does not look like a $380 PC, that's for sure. Here we go, final boot test. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Bruh. Come on. Seriously. Okay, third time's a charm. Yo, let's go. I'm acting like I've never seen RGB fans before. Can I change the color of this? Oh, that's so sick. Damn. And we got post, let's go. This is $380, are you serious right now? I can't believe it guys, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I wonder how much I can flip this for. For all the experienced PC flippers watching, I'm curious, what do you guys mark up the price of the PC before you sell it? Do you guys just do like a set percentage, like 10% more or 20% more, or is it like a flat rate? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section because I can take all the advice I can get. I spent $380 for this. I think I could possibly sell it for $600. I don't know, I'll have to do some math. All right, we're still loading in. I did install my M.2 SSD in there that has all the games loaded, that way we can save a bunch of time. So once that's loaded up, we're gonna launch a few games and then benchmark this system. But in the meantime, take a look at this badass mouse pad, you guys. Can we just appreciate the detail that went into this design? Shout out to Zert, by the way, for designing our chaos pad for our season 10 mouse pads. It's available now at dealsource.tech slash store if you guys wanna pick it up. All right, you know what? Let's check our memory speed real quick. Task manager, let's go to performance, memory. So our memory is actually running, isn't running at its max speed. It's clocked at 2667 megahertz, but we do have 3200 megahertz. So let's go ahead and restart the PC, go into the BIOS so that we can enable XMP. I just hope it's compatible with this board. Okay, let's go advanced, overclock, XMP, profile one. There it is, 3200 megahertz. Save changes and reboot. All right, task manager, performance. Let's go, baby. There it is, 3200 megahertz. All right, starting with Cyberpunk 2077. Wow, we are getting less than 50 FPS right off the gate. I would definitely say this is not playable since the goal here is to achieve at least 60 FPS. So let's go ahead and lower the resolution down to 1080. And then for graphics, we'll keep it at ultra, why not? Oh wow, okay, we are, we're basically right there at the cusp of 60 FPS. This is definitely more playable. Do keep in mind, this is ultra setting, so that's still not bad. Considering how demanding this game is. Where's my car at? There we go. All right, driving around the city, we are dipping closer to the low 50s. It kind of just fluctuates between 50 to 60. Definitely not terrible. Um, let's lower the settings down to something more reasonable. Let's do medium. Okay, that didn't give us much, but at least we are above 60. We're in the high 60s, low 70s dropping the quality down to medium. Not bad. I mean, for spending only $380, I'll take it. We're getting pretty close to 100% utilization on the graphics card. Temps are looking really good. I mean, I know I got the side panel open, but um, realistically speaking, it's not gonna make a huge difference. We're in the low 60s for the GPU and also for the CPU. Okay, let's switch games. All right, Diablo 4 is up next. Uh, we have, let's do ultra presets. I mean, you can run this game on a potato, so I'm not too worried about the performance here. We are starting off with 1440p as well, so let's see. Okay, yeah, um, not the frames I was hoping for, but we are getting over 60, so that's a start. Okay, we're in the dungeon right now. We're getting in the high 70s. Looks like there isn't as much stutter in here. It did get a little better. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and um, lower it down to high. Can it be? No more stutter? I guess all we have to do is lower the, uh, the quality down to high. 
which does take less VRAM. So that's probably the issue. We only have eight gigs of VRAM to work with. So yeah, look at that, no stutter at all, guys. That seems to fix the issue. Temps wise are looking pretty good. 73 degrees Celsius for the GPU and wow, 54 degrees on the CPU. Very nice. All right, let's switch to 1080p. Oh wow, we jumped pretty high. 139, 140 FPS in high settings, 1080p. I wonder if we can um, increase the quality back to ultra. Does that change anything? Let's see. Is the stutter gonna come back? No, no stutter, even in ultra settings. I mean, it is 1080p, so we're definitely still using less VRAM compared to 1440p, but I think high settings for Diablo and 1080p is the best bet if you want the most FPS. If you have 144 as monitor, that's the settings and resolution you should be using for Diablo 4. Let's do a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege. Although this game can run on a literal potato. So I'm not impressed with the frames. Over 200, 1080p ultra settings. Ah, no way he came out for me. Oh, wow. Bruh. And our teammates calling us out. Ah. Dude. We're in such a sweaty lobby, bro. Okay, let's try a different lobby. Maybe something a little less toxic, hopefully. What's interesting is how quiet the system is, you guys. Like, we are in the middle of a game, as you can see, and I can hardly hear the four fans. Oh. Wow, what did you do? My lord, man. Oh, I almost got him. Ah, no! No freaking way. No, let's bump up the resolution. 2560, 1440. Oh wow, we didn't take that much of a hit on the frames. Haha, <laughs> I just got outplayed, son. Good stuff, team. Let's go. Oh my god, you had your chance, bro. You had your chance. He whiffed that so hard. I'll do it. I'll play it. I'll play Fortnite. I gotta cater to my young audience. This is for you guys. All right, so we're doing good old Fortnite. No build mode, solo. And then for settings, we are 1080p, and then the graphics quality is set to recommended or auto set. And here's the rest of the settings for everyone else that's interested. We are on Direct X 12, by the way. We're not doing too bad. 130 to 140 FPS on average. I hear gunfire. Let's see if I can find where they are. Can I at least get one kill before I get clapped by some 12 year old? A shotgun still OP? Whoa, what is this? A rocket ram? Whoa. I don't know if this actually does damage or what. Whoa, what the heck was that? Oh my God, dude. I just killed a bot too. <laughs> when are they gonna stop making these stupid weapons, man? Time wise, we're still doing good. 65C on the CPU and 70C on the GPU. Really low temps for both the CPU and the GPU across all the games. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, these are all bots for sure. All right, time for a little bit of competitive gaming with Modern Warfare 2. This is multiplayer, uh, ultra settings, 1080p, and we're not doing too bad. High 80s, low 90s, my people. Oh, 
No way, I missed my triple right there. This is not bad, guys. We are playing Modern Warfare 2 in ultra settings with four year old hardware. That's pretty impressive. Oh, nice shot, baby. Okay, so, I mean, temps wise, we're looking pretty good too. 70C on the GPU and under 60C for the CPU. And we got the side panel back on. So, looking really good for temps too. Oh, dude. All right, let me change my load out real quick. Let's go to cast off. In some places, indoors, we're actually climbing to 100 FPS too. Right here, look at that, 110 FPS, 111. Very nice. Let's go ahead and lower the settings down from ultra to, let's just do balanced. Oh, now we're in the lower hundreds. Very nice. Very nice, let's go. $380 for this, I, I still can't believe it. Honestly, I still can't believe it. Balance looks really good on Modern Warfare 2, if I'm being honest. Like, the quality didn't take that much of a hit. Nice. Can I flank? Oh no, he knew! He knew it was coming. Oh, that was clean. Yeah, I think balance is the way to go. For Modern Warfare 2. This guy is really annoying the out of me. Look at this guy, bro. He's he's aiming. He's pre-aiming. Like he knows where I am. Kobe. Oh, let's go. That was clean. Oh, oh my god. I impress myself sometimes. All right, last but not least, we're finishing up with good old Apex Legends team deathmatch. I'm well aware that you get more frames in Teton Deathmatch than you do in actual Battle Royale. But this is the only place I can get actual kills, so you guys are gonna have to deal with it. I don't even know what settings we're playing on. Hold on. 1080p, high settings. Actually, I think we're pretty much maxed out. Yeah. And we're getting some really nice frames. 150 to 170, very nice. Oh, let's go, baby. One kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I should not shield out in the open like that. That was on me. Dude, where is everyone? Come on, I can't find a single person, man. Is AFK? <laughs> so trash. I still don't know how I was able to get away with building a capable 1080p gaming PC by spending less than $400, you guys. This just goes to show that you don't need to buy brand new parts to build a solid gaming system. Just for poops and giggles, when we compare new and used prices, you can see that it would cost me $838 plus tax and shipping to build this exact same PC, which means I saved $458 plus tax, which would have been $60.75 with California's current tax rate. So in reality, I saved over $500. But of course, take these prices with a grain of salt because sometimes retailers jack up the prices of older components for no reason. Regardless, I'm sure we can all agree that the money saved buying used parts is well worth it if you're on a tight budget and you wanna maximize performance. So what's next, you guys? Do I try and sell this PC and make a profit? If so, what would even be a good price for it? Like, I have no idea where to start. I'll probably put it on my Facebook marketplace and my offer a page 
for like a week and see if anyone buys it. If not, I'll let it go for dirt cheap on my Discord server for sell section. Also, let me know if you guys actually enjoyed watching this content and you want to see more like it. Uh, it definitely wasn't easy to make and was very time consuming, but if this type of content floats your boat, let me know in the comment section. Maybe for the next challenge, I could do like a specific budget, like $500 or something and try and build a PC with that budget, but I have no idea. Let me know, give me some ideas in the comment section, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love your beautiful faces and I'll see you very soon in the next one.